Hi there, today we're going to teach you how you can update your old OpenCart store to the newest version of OpenCart, which is OpenCart 3x. So essentially we'll be switching from this look to this one. And fill this empty store with all the products from your previous website. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, back up your store. So whenever you're performing major changes, always make sure to back up your data. The best way to do it is via your hosting. You can always get in touch with your hosting provider for tips. Okay, now that you got your backup, you should be good to go. And we're off to step number two, which is setting up a testing server. It is recommended to set up your test server on a separate hosting environment. Now, you might be wondering why this is important. This is important so we don't mess up your new store on the live site and cause a bigger problem down the road. So let's play safe here. Now that we have our test server set up, it is time for the data export and import. So we're going to step number three, which is exporting your store data. Now, there are several ways to do it, but we will be using a tool, which is Excel port. Um, so we'll give a link for that in the description down below. Essentially with Excel port, you can get all your store data from the old site and then import it to the new site. To do that, you need to download the latest corresponding version of the extension for your older store. And in our case, this is Excel port 1.11.5. And this is for OpenCart 1564, which we have here right now. Okay, so once you download it, install it in your store. And Excel port is installed just like any other extension for OpenCart 1.5, which is via FTP. For our tutorial, we will be using FileZilla. Okay, so once the files are transferred to our store, we'll go to the module section in the extensions tab. Once you're there, find Excel port and click install. Now click edit and you will enter the module settings. Okay, so what we're going to do now is export our products, categories, customers, and orders. Two important details here are when you're exporting products, you can select your store, language, and type of export. We will go with bulk because it exports a multi-sheet kind of a file, which is easier for mass editing of products before importing. Of course, you can find more about that in the Excel port documentation. So let's hit the export button now, see how things go. Okay, so everything went out smoothly and you can see the exported file in your downloads. Let's repeat this step for the rest of the entities we want to get. Okay, now we have our data successfully exported. And this brings us to step number four, which is preparing our new OpenCart 3 installation for the import. Now that we exported all the data with Excel port, we would need to import it with Excel port once again. So go back to your downloads at Ice and Slabs and download the latest version from there. And make sure to see whether this version that you're downloading is compatible with the OpenCart version that you have set up. So it could be OpenCart 2 or OpenCart 3. Okay. And once this is done, go to your new OpenCart 3 installation, then extensions, and open the installer. Upload the Excel port zip and wait for the progress bar to complete loading. Next stop, click on extensions and go to modules from the dropdown. 
Install Excel Port, hit Edit, and then go to the Import tab. By the way, now that you know how to activate the extension via the Support tab, just go ahead and copy the license code from your downloads at License Labs and paste it back in the fields here. Okay, back to the Import tab. Now, as you have the product selected, you need to upload the products file you exported from the previous store. Okay, so two options here. We've got the languages and two options that will define the import process. The first option will delete all current entries before importing the new ones. Whereas the second option will import all the entries as new ones without editing or overriding existing entries you may have in your new store. Once we define that, click the import data and voila, we've got 19 imported products. Hit finish and continue with the rest of the entities, which are categories, customers, orders and now that the import is complete let's see the results as you remember this is a new store so the categories and products were entirely empty now when we go to categories we see all the entries we had in our OpenCart 1.5 store. And same applies to products, orders, and customers. There is one detail though. The images must be uploaded and assigned to all products manually when you're setting up the new store. However, we will show you a simple trick to speed up that process. Go to your server files via an FTP client. Enter the old store files and open the image folder. There is going to be a folder inside called data. Let's right click and hit download. So this will save the folder to your desktop device. And the next step is to open the files of your new OpenCart reinstallation. Again, you will see the same folder called image. Open it and now right click the data folder you just downloaded. Now hit upload. This way, you just moved all the images you had in your old store to the new one. And you might be wondering what's the good thing about Excel Park. Well, it migrates all of the file paths for your images, which means that you wouldn't have to assign them to products one by one. Instead, we go to catalog and then products, and we see that all of our images are properly assigned now. That's pretty neat, right? Okay, so step number five. Move your modules and modifications. Now, this is a very delicate process. It's very important to make sure that all of your current extensions have compatible OpenCart 3 version. Also, if you have any custom modifications, themes, or anything like that, check with the development teams who are taking care of those and make sure they can be safely moved to OpenCart 2 or OpenCart 3, whatever you're upgrading to. So, just as an example, if you haven't noticed, we have NitroPack installed and enabled in our old OpenCart 1.5 store. So, first thing to do is check if it's compatible with OpenCart 3. And how to do that? We go to product page and check the details. OpenCart 3 looks like it's supported. Happy days! Now we go to the downloads and download the latest version of the module. 
Okay, so we basically repeat the process of installing the module, which is going to the OpenCard 3 installer, uploading the module zip, then going to modifications and hitting the refresh button. Now, go to your extensions, enable Nitro Pack, and you're all set. Now, you might be wondering how to make sure you got the right settings for your store. And easiest way is to go back to your older store, check the settings, and just mirror them for the new one. And this is basically how you move modules from the old store to the new one. And one more thing. We just like to put accent on that. You should never try installing modules that you haven't explicitly checked whether they're compatible with the OpenCard version that you're upgrading to. And now there is one last thing to do, which is step number six. And this is making OpenCard 3 your main domain installation. After that, you need to modify a couple of files for your main domain to be loading your new store. And the way to do it is that you go in the files of your new OpenCard 3 installation and edit your main config PHP file. Okay, it should look like this. All the paths should point to your main store domain. After that, you go back to your store files, enter the admin folder and edit the config files again. Should be the same. All the paths must point to your main store domain. Now save the config files with the new paths. This is where you need to contact your hosting provider again and ask them to recognize your main store domain to point to the directory of your new OpenCard website. And that should do the trick. Now let's see our main store and let's see how things look like. Hit refresh and Voila, our new OpenCard website is running the latest OpenCard 3 version. Just like that. Well, this is one or maybe one of the most straightforward ways and we actually prefer doing it uh, following those steps. Of course, there are other ways to upgrade your OpenCard store as well. So in case you have any questions about the update process, please let us know in the comments below and we'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And as usual, that's all for today. We hope that you liked this video. Give us a like if it helped you and subscribe to our channel for more OpenCard 3 tutorials. Thanks for watching.